Swanage Railway and Corf Castle. So we're here at the car park. It's taken us two hours to do a 45 minute journey because um, everyone's obviously out and about. But we're here now, we're at the train station. We're gonna have some lunch. The plan today is to get the steam train from Corf into Swanage and back again and then have a look around Corf Castle. So um, we are gonna have a bite to eat before we get on the train. So the train leaves in about five minutes and we are just going to try and find a, what are they called? Carriage. Carriage. What about in here? Yeah, let's go that Let's one. go in this one. This will do. There's seats in the table. Go for it, Max. You guys go first. Yeah, I think we should let's sit on this side, darling. Then you get a good view of the castle. I'm going to go out again, okay? To show my camera stuff. Okay. And we are off. Yeah, we are. That's true. I'm looking at myself. <laughs> we are off. And real quick, don't forget, stay tuned to the end of the video for a great tip on where to park to make this journey cheap and easy for you. And you may have just heard me say as we got on the train there, if you sit on the right side of the train, if you're traveling from Norden to Swanage, you get great views of the scenery and as you've seen already, the castle. Oh, there's a toilet. I don't think there is a toilet, no, darling. Or if there is, it's not working. Corf and Harman's Cross are the only other stops you can change at, other than Norden and Swanage, of course. Approaching Welcome to Swanage. Let's get off the train and have a look at the station. Pretty cool old train, I must admit. Good, there are toilets here, aren't there? There probably is, yeah. If not out. Oh, again? Sorry. We had a quick wander around Swanage while we were here and you can see a bit more about this seaside town in a video which I will link to a bit later on. But for now we are heading back to explore the amazing Corf Castle, so stay tuned for that. Darling. Right, off goes Max. Crumbs everywhere. Oh, well, well, well. Thank you. 
And there are plenty of campsites and camping opportunities in this part of the world. We're about to start going again to Gorfer Castle. And here we are at Corfe Castle Station. There is also a museum here, but we are saving that for another day. So that was the Swanage Railway. We will probably get one more stop on the way back. It's only two I minutes from here. Castle. There's Corfe Castle. We, we are now going to go to Corfe Castle and have a look around there for an hour and the village and uh yeah the railway is good it's quite expensive though it's 16 pounds for an adult and eight pounds for a child so it's not cheap but there's a lot of history and it takes a lot of upkeep so um yeah it's worth it once or twice i think so here's Corfe castle So we are at Corfe Castle and we are using a National Trust ticket that we've won in a newspaper thingy and we've never used it before so we're gonna hope that gonna hope that it works well so wish us luck. Should be fine. Before you begin exploring our romantic ruins, please keep your group together and have your tickets and membership. So our little scanny barcode didn't work at the membership desk but it worked at the non-members kiosk so um, we're in, we're in, let's look around. Where are we? Coffee Castle. because we still have uh, where are we up there to go but we have some pretty cool views from here as you can see and as you'd expect it's a castle so it's on a hill um, we've come past this place tens and tens maybe even a hundred times um, in the last ten years but we've never never stopped never stopped to go in anyway we have stopped to to visit the village but we've never actually come into the um, into the castle itself so we've got those tickets through the newspaper today was the day so definitely worth a, a visit from what we've seen Here we have the Swanage Railway that we got off 
a little while ago that you saw earlier. Yeah, we're still enjoying some pretty good views up here on Fourth Castle. All around the, um, the castle there's these little sort of towers with buttons on that you can push and it tells you a bit of history about the part that you're standing in and history about the castle and how things were in the old days so it's all a education thing as well as a vacation thing or holiday thing. first we are king of the castle and this is Corp our no our our I said land our this is this is our land your turn it is poo no I'm joking I love it look at those views all those cars going down there that rock about to fall <laughs> Um, it's beautiful. And it's lovely, it's I love it! I love it. I've been going past here for many years and have wanted to come with my family. Love it, it's beautiful scenery, look at it. You can't be any place in the world apart from this. The, wor okay, that the word I was up. looking for was our kingdom. So beautiful, our kingdom looks very nice. We are king of the Is the Swanage Railway again on its way back. So I think we are now going to head up into that whatever it was story forgotten already. Skyscraper, there's obviously not much of it left. 1100s I think that was built. It's now 2120. No, it's not, it's 2021. <laughs> um, and here we go. There's not much of it left I'm afraid. Taking a little video, but it's worth it. Look at the views. I am not going to apologise for showing you all this wonderful scenery. I think we may be heading down now because I think that was the top. And there's another wall that's fallen over. Look, the castle's in ruins. Like a, it could be sort of like a poker um, witches type of cauldron, couldn't it? I don't know, darling, really. Oh. Look, something about spells. Live, live eternal life. Gold is forever as the breath of life. Ra's spell. So you say that spell, and oh my god! Just kidding. Could be a spell. Forever. Live, live, 
And we are going to leave Corfe Castle now and try out one of the oldest coaching inns in England and apparently the most photographed pub too. Thank you very much. Now that is much better than my when you had last, last week. week. So we have missed the last train, which we knew we were going to do, we didn't miss it, we planned this. But it's a walk back to the Northern car park, so if you do get stuck at Corf and you want to leave your car at Norden, which we did, um, it just saves having to get go back and get the car and come back. It's complicated, I'll try and explain it, but um, there's lovely views of Corf Castle. Look at that. And it's a very nice walk. It's warm, it's not too late. And it's basically a half mile walk from Corf back to Norden car park to pick up the car. So let's just take this walk and uh, let's enjoy it. it. Looks pretty simple. Okay, so it's totally uncontrolled, so you need to be really careful. With vehicles. Yeah, we're just, we're just walking though, so. Just step over the metal, Max, okay? Come on. The train track, just step over it, Bye. just in case. And of course I couldn't resist grabbing a photograph here, so here it is. So that is it from our trip to Swanage and Corfe Castle. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and for making it this far. And if you want to support the channel don't forget to click that thumbs up button give me a like subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and things that we're doing around the UK and thanks as ever for watching we have lots coming up um, more for other videos but we will see you then see you again bye so I've changed my mind here's another quick video um, I just want to say this path although it's a bit overgrown it's not It's not like a real big wide path for bikes and buggies and passing but proper convenient if you don't mind a, if you don't mind a walk I think we're here a um, bit of a walk and a saving some money it's three pounds fifty to park all day and assuming that we're not locked in the car park which we shouldn't be because they said it was open till 11 o'clock and I'm not sure we've even come through the right place guys to be honest but oh yeah look our car's right here we're the only one left in the car park yeah. huh? 
So here we are, we're back at the camper van. That walk was pretty good because it's just, it took us, taking us 15 minutes, three pounds of park here all day till 11 o'clock at night. So if you're visiting Corfe and don't mind a walk, and I will do it in the daylight, Northern Car Park, three pound, 15 minutes of Tip of the day. See ya. I'm not trying to make it. Bye-bye.